All right, just got my Y570 today. I ordered it on May 12th, got it today on May 26th. Um, just un took it out of the box and just unwrapping everything right now. Uh, this is just a real preview, review kind of thing. Um, I know there's a, a Czech or a German review and there's some guy in Thailand who picked one up when he was there. But just giving you an overview, really nice build quality, plastic back housing, huge um, <coughs> heat sink vent on the side here, um, largest I've seen um, on any notebook uh, so far. Just the the gap between the grill grill is um, enormous. Um, really nice. Uh, that's a text. There's no texture on that lid. It's just a pattern. It's a brush uh, metal look. Here is a light white uh, indicator for the power, and then. Uh, there's the switch for the GPU and then the Wi-Fi switch. So default out of the box, um, it's set for the Intel uh, GPU um, and you'll have to switch it over for the NVIDIA. And um, you'll see down the video there's uh, some uh, repercussions of me not switching it on right. I'm just going to give you a really quick, really quick view of the uh, top here. Sorry, diarrhea in the mouth. Um, very clean lines. Uh, very little gap um, issues are on this notebook edge. Um, this is a brushed metal uh, palm rest. Uh, very fingerprint uh, friendly. Don't leave any. There are your JBL speakers. Um, there's your power. All the buttons that you see there are all touch sensitive. They're not mechanical. Um, and the keyboard is really, really nice. Um, chiclet. Uh, and there you can see that they're a little concave um, so very nice feel to it. I'm um, going to power it on for the first time here and I just show you how fast um, the first boot is. So bio screen start it'll give you the normal windows setup coming up soon um, some note, uh, the palm rest um, is made out of uh, a, a metal feel. I'm not sure if it's fully metal or it's just uh, a laminate kind of thing. But it's very similar to other computers that have the same finish where uh, the vibration from the hard drive or the optical drive will make you feel like you're getting shocked because it has that, it just reverberates that uh, vibration. So just be aware of that. But I've seen other laptops uh, with the same finish uh, doing the same thing, especially um, my old PowerBook um, Aluminum um, did the exact same thing. Uh, also a note, um, the bottom is plastic and the top is uh, a metal. Um, I think I prefer it this way. I was really paranoid with <coughs> my PowerBook scratching the aluminum backing. Uh, same thing with um, my uh, Alienware MX11. It had a, a metal back, but it was heavy. Um, I think there's a lot of weight. All right, I found my real mic here. Uh, here, I'm going through the uh, system profile. Uh, off the first boot, it has process information, the i7. And I'm going to run an assessment here. Um, this was before. <laughs> I knew that uh, the NVIDIA GPU was off, so you can see the really low score of 5.9. Um, later in this video, I'm going to try to rerun the test, but as you can see, um, it's going to fail. I am not sure why it's going to fail. Okay, here I'm going to choose to rerun the test, and you'll see the error pop up. And any second now. boom there it is so really I couldn't get you a good window score but I'll have um, a video of a couple of games I, I don't run any really modern games right now just run WoW and I got just for cost 2 uh, and WoW is running on DirectX 11 um, from the latest patch but as you can see here are the scores I'm really weird about, I guess it's the rotational drive that it's testing right now on the paging on the hard drive, so that's 
a pretty darn low score there also that's pretty much a standard 7200 rpm all right just gonna give you some beauty shots here like i said fit and finish really really impressive um those are the nice white lights in the front for your indicators when the lids are closed uh screen is very beautiful um pretty on par with anybody else uh, again here's a closer look at that gpu switch and the wireless uh switch uh this notebook does have two usb 3s which are on the side on that side the power light uh or power button has a really nice bright white uh, not bright white but it's a white uh light on there you'll see it looks like the it's the little dots in there in the power light are machined um as you can see that is an overlay so all the lights are underneath so it's a see-through almost aluminum film or metal film on the top here and again these are there's no depression you don't it's just touch uh sensitive so a little confused here i'm not sure how the drives are set up um reading the lenovo forums i'm not sure how this hybrid drive is i thought it was two separate drives but here um it kind of looks like it's just one drive so you know don't leave negative comments because I'm not sure how the hybrid drive. Um, I heard s some places say there were two separate drives. There's a um, a solid drive that's on a board, and then the rotational drive on top. But it's really weird partition. So one of them, I'm guessing, is just going to be a recovery partition. Um, I did find that's not in this video later that uh, there is an Intel Rapid Drive uh, utility. So. Um, this is my first foray into SSD drives. Um, I'm running rotational on all my other systems, so I'm not sure if this is a hybrid or if they're two separate drives, and I'm not sure how they're making it work. So this is a reboot, and um, just to give you an idea of how fast the reboot is. And there you are, right in. So pretty quick, just like the other videos you've seen from Lenovo. Oh, oh yeah. So there was some question about what video RAM that was on the system, and it is uh, GDDR5. So really fast uh, memory bandwidth. Uh, here's the trackpad. Uh, it's one piece, but there's two button press areas in the middle. There's come kind of a bridge. So if you press in the middle, nothing's going to happen. But just to the left and the right. Um, it will respond to the left and right mouse click. Just to show you the keyboard, uh, really nice layout, really good touch. The only thing I find annoying is the enter button is a little bit small. I'm just playing back the promo Lenovo um, do um, YouTube video just to see, or let you see how how fast um, it's rendering YouTube. But you know, it's an i7, so you shouldn't have any problems with rendering this video. Um, in HD looks pretty darn good like I said um, it's as expected um, very on par with like uh, the Sony notebooks I've had uh, with the Alienware uh, not as shiny as the Alienware uh, MX11 which is really really glary uh, speakers um, they're okay I know they tout that it's the biggest um, cubic inch or cubic centimeter uh, speaker setup uh, any notebook out there, but it's okay. Um, nothing to write home about. Um, after this video, I'm going to post a couple more on for the gaming. Uh, like I said, just for cause, just cause two, and wow. All right.